Ever wondered about those unsettling nightmares? You know, the ones where your deepest fears come out to play while you're defenseless in dreamland? Well, buckle up, because we're diving into the mysterious world of the succubus, the suedductive she-demon who's been raising eyebrows and other things throughout history. Forget what you think you know about succubi. These aren't just your average seductresses. Picture this, a medieval demoness prowling the night, not for a quick fling, but to swipe some sperm. Yeah, you heard that right. According to old school lore, succubi were after more than just a steamy encounter. They were on a mission to make demon babies. But hold on, it gets weirder. Turns out these sultry succubus weren't always the ultimate temptresses. Take Lilith, for example, the OG feminist demon who refused to play second fiddle to Adam. She flew the coop and started her own demonic empire, complete with baby snatching and curse casting. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and you've got priests and rabbis scrambling to fend off these nocturnal vixens. Holy water? Check. Amulets? Double check. Some even tried tying the knot with a succubus to keep her at bay. Talk about commitment. But not all succubi were out for blood or sperm. Pope Sylvester II allegedly had a cozy arrangement with a succubus named Meridiana. She helped him climb the career ladder and he, well, let's just say he wasn't exactly faithful. Cue the downfall and a pilgrimage gone wrong. And it's not just the succubus making waves. Across the globe, bedtime spirits like the Arabian Karana and Greek Lamia were giving folks some serious nightmares. Cats, apparently, were the preferred form of these possessive phantoms. Who knew Fluffy had a dark side? Now, before you start boarding up your windows and stocking up on garlic, let's talk science. Sleep paralysis, nocturnal emissions. There's a logical explanation for those midnight rendezvous with succubus, right? Or maybe, just maybe, there's more to these encounters than meets the eye. So, have you had your own brush with the paranormal? Share your spooky stories in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this wild ride through demonology, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more spine-tingling tales. Until next time, sleep tight, if you can.